Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and today I have a pretty cool unboxing. I have the Beyblade Metal Fury Destroyer Dome. I found this at Walmart for $35, so it's going to cost you between $35 and $40 with tax and all that. But anyway, yay, Metal Fury. I didn't see any metal, actual Metal Fury Beyblades, this is the only thing I saw, but still, it comes with a new Beyblade and a new stadium. So here's the front of the box. Uh, there are two codes inside. Here's the front. Uh, Gravity Defying Battles inside the Destroyer Dome. So that kind of sounds like Takarotomi Zero G. But this is Hasbro. So yeah, here is all the stuff I could get inside. Uh, well, there's two collector cards with the code, the stadium, two rip cords, and launchers. Uh, and there is Tornado Herculeo. And you get the new the new Beyblade is Spiral Fox. The Takara Tomi name is Screw Fox. Which um in Takara Tomi this is considered a 4D Beyblade. And uh I think it's also considered 4D in Hasbro. But yeah. Anyway, that's the back. Uh there's the top, it's not much. I mean that was the front. Uh here is the back. As you can see, there is this the destroyer dome. It basically is a globe, and you launch your two Beyblades inside there, and they kind of go crazy in there. And, um, uh, Beyblades are still five pieces, and they have these, uh, spin tracks. They're not really spin tracks, but they fit like one. And, um, the blue one, Dome Spin Track G58. Let's take a closer look. Uh, with extra gripper threads for extra gripping power. And then the red one is Dome Spin Track V61 with V-cut to help minimize surface friction. So that would, this would probably spin a lot faster than this one. And here are the two Beyblades at the bottom. Spiral Fox and Cyclone Hercu Herculeo. I think I said Tornado Herculeo earlier. And uh, stats and stuff for the Beyblades. And yeah. So let's uh, just open it. Here's a sticker sheet. It's a little wrinkled. This goes on the Destroyer Dome Stadium. Uh, here are the two Beyblades. I'll go into details much later. So, everything's out. Um, ask your parents to help assemble the dome, but uh, my parents aren't here, so I'm going to do it myself. Alright, and uh, these kind of support them. And, um, yeah, cards and codes are in there. Launchers, and the two Beyblades and sticker seats. So, let's see how you put this together. It kind of reminds me of the Zero G Stadium, but much smaller and much rounder. Um, yeah, we 
LEDs with clamp on to hold them together. in like this. Probably should look at the instructions, but yeah, there are instructions. doing it all right. This is for the bottom part. Very simple. I don't know why you'd need your parents to do it for you. It's kind of easy. But anyway. Just like that. And it just goes in like this. So it'll keep the stadium nice and steady. Ah, so there you have it. That is the destroyer dome. Um, yeah. And uh, once the Beyblade is at the bottom, you kind of just lift it up, and that little plastic thing holds it in. Okay. So let's uh, take a look at the Beyblades. Here is screw fox or spiral fox so from the comments before in my other video um, 4D doesn't have, I mean uh, Metal Fury doesn't have any stickers so everything is printed on the clear wheel or the energy ring and the face bolt so that's pretty awesome and the track is down here that looks like a uh, D And here is Cyclone Herculeo, a pretty cool recolor. It's like red and gold. And it is printed on, and the bottom is F. Uh, here are the stickers for the Destroyer Dome. Right, and there are some extra tracks in here. So this is, looks like 130 for Spiral Fox. And this is 105 for Cyclone Herculeo. And awesome looking launchers. And the rip cords, of course, and a yellow tool. And also a blue tool. And here are the character, I mean the collectible cards with the codes on it. And if you want the code, they're right there. Alright, so let's do a spin test, I guess you could say, on the Destroyer Dome. Well, I'm the only person here, so I can only do it one at a time. But uh, here is this uh, gripping track. And it is plastic. It doesn't feel rubber at all, so it doesn't. It won't wear down, which is pretty cool. Right. So, with a light launcher, it probably wouldn't spin as much, but let's try it out. I should probably use a string launcher. That would be much better. But let's launch Cyclone Herculeo. Oh yeah. That one would definitely spin a lot longer, but uh, it hit the hole so it, it kind of lost its spin. Let's try that again. No! 
Well, it doesn't work that well, but let's try it again and see if we could get a really good spin. Nope. So I'm going to go grab my string launcher. Alright, so I'm back with my string launcher. And it might spin a lot better. Oh, no it didn't. It's too much. Let's try it with the Revo Blancher. If it could fit. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. But it lasted a very short time. Let's try it with Spiral Fox. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was pretty cool too. But yeah, it doesn't last very long, that's the thing. And it's already being scratched up inside. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like scratch marks on it already. So, yeah, that is my unboxing of the Metal Fury, Beyblade Metal Fury, Destroyer Dome. So, um, it's okay, it's not, uh, you know, it's not too flashy, I guess, but it's... Uh, it's definitely something new, and you definitely need two people to play. It's uh, it's alright, I still prefer Zero G over this, just because it would last longer. And uh, yeah, that's about it, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, stay tuned for more awesome and cool unboxings. I will see you guys next time.